Today, we're diving into a comprehensive comparison between the upcoming Google Pixel 9a and the Google's flagship Pixel 9. Both of these devices promise a premium smartphone experience rooted in Google's strengths, including intelligent software, impressive cameras, and smooth performance. The Pixel 9a promises to deliver flagship-level performance, a sleek design, and an amazing camera experience for an unbeatable price point. On the other hand, the Pixel 9 already sets the standard with its premium build and advanced features, designed to compete with the flagship phones like iPhone 16 and Galaxy S24. But how do they stack up against each other? Well, let's dive into a detailed comparison of these two smartphones and see which one is best for your needs and style. And if you find this video helpful, please help out the channel by giving it a like and subscribing. Let's kick things off with the design. The Pixel 9a is about to grow in size, jumping from 6.1 inches to a 6.3 inch display, just like the Pixel 9. With this increase, the Pixel 9a will also become slightly taller, wider, and thicker than its predecessor. But it's expected to be lighter at 186 grams compared to the Pixel 9's 198 grams. Both phones share Google's flat frame design language, but there's a big material difference. The Pixel 9 boasts an aluminum frame and Gorilla Glass Victus 2 on both the front and back, giving it a premium and durable feel. On the other hand, the Pixel 9a is likely to use an aluminum frame with a plastic back, which might not feel as high-end, but helps keep the cost down. Another win for the Pixel 9 is its IP68 water resistance, which outshines the Pixel 9a's rumored IP67 rating. If you care about a premium build and top-tier durability, the Pixel 9 clearly takes the lead here. Moving on to the display, the Pixel 9a is rumored to inherit the Pixel 9's 6.3-inch Actua FHD Plus OLED panel. This means we're talking about adaptive refresh rates ranging from 60 to 120 Hz and a peak brightness of 2000 nits for fantastic viewing in bright sunlight. This is a huge win for an affordable phone. While both displays sound equally impressive, there's one notable difference. The Pixel 9 includes an optical in-display fingerprint scanner, while the Pixel 9a is likely sticking to a capacitive scanner built into the power button. In terms of user experience, the Pixel 9's display tech feels a bit more futuristic, but the Pixel 9a's simpler approach might be more reliable for some users. When it comes to the performance, both phones are powered by Google's Tensor G4 chipset. This 4 nanometers processor might not match the upcoming Snapdragon 8 Elite in raw performance, but it excels in AI and machine learning, making everyday tasks smooth and efficient. The Pixel 9a will come with 8 gigabytes of RAM, while the Pixel 9 bumps that up to 12 gigabytes, which is great for AI-driven multitasking on device. The storage options are identical at 128 gigabytes and 256 gigabytes. But if you're looking for more, you'll have to upgrade to the pricier Pixel 9 Pro XL. Both phones will also enjoy Google's stellar seven-year software support, ensuring updates until 2031 for the Pixel 9 and 2032 for the Pixel 9a. While the Pixel 9a offers flagship-level performance at a budget price, the Pixel 9's extra RAM gives it a slight edge in handling demanding tasks. Moving on to the cameras. The Pixel 9a is rumored to feature a 48 megapixels main camera, likely borrowed from the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. And this would deliver solid performance with realistic colors, balanced dynamics, and optical image stabilization. But the thing is, the Pixel 9 boasts a 50 megapixels main camera and an upgraded 48 megapixels ultra-wide lens, which outperformed its Pro Fold sibling in stills and video. That extra ultra-wide lens on the Pixel 9 adds versatility, making it the better choice for photography enthusiasts. While the Pixel 9a's rumored setup is impressive for a budget device, the Pixel 9 wins this round with its superior camera hardware and versatility. Battery life is where things get interesting. Rumors suggest the Pixel 9 a could pack a 5,000 mAh battery, surpassing the Pixel 9's 4,700 mAh capacity. Given the efficiency of the Tensor G4 chip, this could make the Pixel 9a a real battery champ, potentially outperforming even the Pixel 9's impressive stats of over 17 hours of web browsing, 8.5 hours of video streaming, and 10 hours of gaming in tests. But when it comes to charging, 
the Pixel 9 takes the lead with faster 27 watts wired and 15 watts wireless charging, compared to the Pixel 9a's likely 18 watts wired and 7.5 watts wireless speeds. So the Pixel 9a might last longer on a single charge, but the Pixel 9 charges much faster, making it more convenient for those on the go. Finally, let's talk about the price, because that's where the Pixel 9a could really shine. At a rumored $499 price tag, it offers nearly everything the Pixel 9 does, but at a significantly lower price point. On the other hand, the Pixel 9 starts at $799. The Pixel 9 brings a few extra perks like a glass back, better cameras, and faster charging, but the Pixel 9a delivers incredible value by packing flagship features into a budget-friendly package. If you're looking for premium features at a reasonable price, the Pixel 9a might just steal the spotlight when it launches. As for my final verdict, if you're after the best overall experience and don't mind spending extra, the Pixel 9 is a no-brainer. But if you're all about getting maximum bang for your buck, the Pixel 9a looks like it could be an unbeatable choice. Either way, Google's got you covered with some truly exciting phones. Let me know what you like in the comments, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech comparisons. See you in the next video!